Castillo. All right. Sally, a woman who was taking a cell phone video when she drove into three people in a crosswalk will spend five months in jail. That was the sentence handed down by a judge today for 25-year-old Elizabeth Dove. Cor Harlan was in the courtroom this morning, and he's in our newsroom now with more. Cor? Well, good afternoon, Ken. Distracted driver. This is 25-year-old Elizabeth Dove, who hit three people on that crosswalk near Centennial High School back in January while she was shooting a video of her own child in the backseat of the car she was driving. The prosecutor in this case today told the court her situation was no accident. It was a choice that she made that will negatively affect the lives of three people she hit forever. Victims in the case all got a chance to address the judge before he imposed his sentence. The first to speak was Julie Hollenbeck Newman. Her daughter has sustained tens of thousands of dollars worth of uncovered medical bills as a result of that accident. And Julie says having her daughter struck by a car is something she'll never forget. It was absolutely terrifying. The worst call a mom could ever get that your child's been injured and that you need to get down there quickly. And um, it was very scary. Several of the other victims also got a chance today. Dove is also sentenced to three years probation. Now, I checked with Portland police this morning to see about the use of cell phones and videos that people are doing while they're driving. They say it is simply hard to quantify how much of it is going on, but they say there is no doubt in their minds it is increasing and has been increasing. They've done enforcement campaigns in the past. They'll do them again in the future to try and discourage all of this. One final note here, Jenny and Ken, the judge actually arranged this five months of jail time into increments that will allow Elizabeth Dub to keep working and going to school. That is in an effort to make sure she can pay back the victims' families all the money that they have had to come up with to pay for medical bills. Jenny and Ken.